Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa congratulated Chairman of the Board of Directors of Al Bayan School, Dr. Sheikh Hamay bin Sal Sleiman Al Utaibi, on the occasion of the school winning Zayed Future Energy Prize after selecting the school project among four projects in the final phase that aim at promoting the spread of renewable energy and sustainability. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to the Chairman and the Administrative and Educational Departments for making this achievement and wishing them further progress and success in serving the kingdom. His, Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, patronized today art in the Civilization of Muslim Countries exhibition, hosted in Bahrain Museum in the presence of Director General of Dar Al Ladar Al Islamiya, Sheikh Hissa Sabah Al Salam Al Sabah, and President of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh May bint Muhammad Al Khalifa. The exhibition is one of this year's event, Muharraq Capital of Islamic Culture 2018, organized by Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities and Dar al Dar al Islamiyah of Kuwait. Her Royal Highness praised the contents of the exhibition, which reflects the high value of the Islamic heritage. She praised uh, the role of Kuwait's Dar al Dar al Islamiyah in preventing or in preserving the Islamic heritage and highlighting the historic art of Muslim countries. She expressed uh, hope that uh, these events of Muharraq, the capital of Islamic culture 2018, will enhance the cultural status of the kingdom and its achievements across the Arab and Islamic countries, as well as spreading the values of peace, respect, and tolerance. Her Royal Highness was briefed on a selection of the collections of Sheikh Nasr Al Sabah Al Ahmed Al Sabah and Sheikh Hassa Al Sabah Al Salam Al Sabah, who formed a selection that is considered one of the most comprehensive and distinguished selections in the art of Muslim countries. In addition to dealing with the stages that constitute art in the Muslim countries from the year 622 AD, the year of the Prophet's migration from Mecca to Medina and the birth of the Islamic country. Sheikh Hamey expressed appreciation to Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika for patronizing the event, which reflects her keenness to enhance the distinguished relationship that brings together two brotherly countries who share common humane heritage. The also, or she also expressed thanks to Dar al-Athar al-Islamiyya, the Director General Sheikh Hissa Sabah al-Salam al-Sabah, and Sheikh Nasr al-Sabah al-Ahmed al-Sabah for their keenness to participate in the event.
The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, visited today at Bahrain Bayan School on the occasion of winning first place in the 2018 Zayed Future Energy Prize in the Global High Schools category. Upon arriving, he was received by the chairwoman of the school's board of directors, Sheikh Amey bint Salman al Atabi, the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali al Naimi, and the school's administrative and educational bodies. His Highness affirmed that the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to education has contributed to advancing academia in the kingdom. Sheikh Nasser noted that providing expertise and new teaching methods will make the educational movement an important contributor to achieve the goals of sustainable development. His Highness conveyed the greetings and congratulations of His Majesty the King to the chairperson and members of the school's board of directors. He noted His Majesty's firm belief in the importance of education, building the future of the kingdom. Sheikh Nasser hailed the role of Sheikha Dr. May bin Salman al Atabi, who has steered the school through her distinguished leadership towards making outstanding achievements. His Highness also praised the role of the teachers in implementing the school's plan, which aimed at achieving excellence at the local and regional levels. His Excellency added that the students were a fundamental part in making this achievement. His Highness wished the school further success in the future. Sheikha Dr. May al Atebi delivered a speech praising the support of His Majesty the King to education. She noted that His Highness Sheikh Nasser's keenness on visiting the school reflects his support to students. She added that the award will push the school to make more outstanding achievements. His Highness honored the students uh, who participated in Zayed Future Energy Prize. He also received a commemorative gift from Sheikha Dr. May at the end of the ceremony. Sheikh Nasser toured the school and viewed up close the project submitted by the students at the award. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, the Honorary Chairman of the Bahrain Martial Arts Federation and Chairman of the Supreme Organizing Committee of Brave International Fighting Week, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at his majlis in Al Wadi Palace the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham Al Jodar, Assistant Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Secretary General of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Abdul Rahman Askar, and the participants of the event in his fourth edition, which was was held in November. His Highness Sheikh Khalid congratulated them on the success of the Brave International Fighting Week, which clearly reflected the Kingdom's ability and excellence to organize international sporting events. He praised the efforts exerted by the organizing committee, which contributed to the Kingdom's receiving praise from the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation and international organizations specialized in mixed martial arts. He also praised the contribution of ministries and government agencies and the support of companies and private sector that reflected on achieving the desire success. He directed them to participate in all initiatives for this year, especially the next International Brave Week. His Highness stressed that the approach continues to support the youth and sports in Bahrain. President of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation, Khad Al Khayyad, delivered a speech in which he underlined the support of the leadership to youth and sports sector and the follow-up of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who contributed to implementing the visions and directives of the leadership to promote the sector. He also thanked His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa for the support to MMA sports. Later, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa honored government agencies, sponsors and contributors to the International Brave Week and the chairman and members of the organizing committee of the event. His Highness also received a commemorative gift from the chairman and the members of the executive committee.
On the sidelines of the Bahraini Representatives Council's official visit to Iraq, President Fouad Damasun met today with the first Deputy Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ali Al Aradi, and the accompanying delegation, who are in Iraq at the invitation from the Iraqi Council of Representatives. President Damasun affirmed the keenness of Iraq to bolster cooperation with Bahrain at all levels to further strengthen the historic brother relations between the two countries. He hailed the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his continuous support to Arab causes at all international events. He highlighted his country's support to the efforts of maintaining peace in the region and countering all challenges facing Arab countries, at the forefront of which is terrorism. He added that Iraq will continue to op co cooperate with all authorities to combat terrorism and dry up its source of funding. For his part, Al Aradi conveyed the greetings of the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mullah, and his wishes of success to leadership and prosperity to the people of Iraq. He hailed the historic stances of Iraq in support of the kingdom's causes. Al Aradi expressed appreciation to the Iraqi President and all the Iraqi Representatives Council officials for their hospitality and warm welcome. He also commended Iraq's keenness on strengthening joint cooperation and coordination. Al Aradi reiterated Bahrain's unwavering support to maintain in Iraq's security and stability, as well as the unity of its people. He also lauded the invitation of the Iraqi Representatives Council, affirming that this visit will result in reinforcing Bahraini-Iraqi parliamentary cooperation, as well as bolster cooperation at all economic and investment levels in light of the political developments and economic variables affecting the region. The meeting was attended by member of members of the Representatives Council and Chairman of the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee, Majid Al Majid, as well as MPs Dr. Majid Al Asfour, Hamad Al Dosiri, Khalid Al Shar, and Mohammed Al Joder. And now to tell us more about the Bahrain delegation's official visit to Iraq, we are joined by the member of the Representatives Council, Khalid al -Shar. Mr. Khalid al -Shar, thank you for joining us. First, can you please tell us about the results of the Bahrain delegation's parliamentary visit to Iraq? Uh, I, uh, for everybody, uh, I think uh, the visit uh, is to highlight and uh, post uh, the relationship uh, between the uh, two parliaments it's clear uh, as a uh, parliamentation to his uh, uh, excellency uh, the speaker uh, mr ahmed al mullah uh, parliamentary uh, parliamentary uh, diplomacy uh, we are keen and uh, to deliver the council of representatives uh, messages to the our colleagues in uh, iraq i am sure uh, that uh, such visit and uh, joint effort will gain the best uh, relation with Bahrain. Uh, I think uh, from uh, our other hand, the visit will uh, contribute uh, to give a positive picture about uh, the two countries' relationship, and it will uh, lead the example. Such visit uh, will open a new opportunity for both uh, parties of facilities and uh, future relationship between businessmen. Yes. Uh, and the business uh, committee as well as uh, for both Bahrain and Iraq. Yes, Mr. Shahr, uh, how will this uh, visit uh, contribute to advancing specifically the joint cooperation in terms of combating terrorism? Yeah, it's a very good uh, question. I think, uh, nevertheless, we deliver the strong messages uh, to our uh, brothers in Iraq uh, towards uh, our commitment to uh, combat terrorism. Uh, we con uh, correlate the Iraq leadership to defeat, uh, defeating uh, Daesh. And uh, we will stand uh, by uh, our brothers uh, in Iraq for any further uh, threats. Yes. Thank you very much. That was member of the Representatives uh, Council, Mr. Khalid al -Shar. Minister of Education Dr. Majid bin Ali al naimi was at Bahrain International Airport to welcome the Bahrain Bayan School team, winner of the first place in the Sheikh Zayed Future Energy Prize for the category of schools in Asia upon their return from the United Arab Emirates after attending the closing ceremony of the award. The minister praised the achievement, which confirms the progress of the educational process 
thanks to the support of the wise leadership. The minister congratulated Dr. Sheikh Amey bin Suleiman al Atebi, chairperson of the board of directors of the school and all the members of the board of directors, the administrative and educational bodies, students and their parents with this remarkable achievement and wish the school more success. The minister stressed that the ministry continues to provide all aspects of support for the private education sector similar to the government. The Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, Hala Al Ansari, chaired today the uh, concluding meeting of the team responsible for preparing a report regarding the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against a Woman, Sidao. The, uh, she, or she affirmed that Bahrain's keenness to follow its international commitment and deliver the report next month after the final approval of Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa. She affirmed the continuation of dialogue with Sidao Committee to showcase the achievements and advancements of Bahraini women in various fields and their ability to overcome all challenges. Al Ansari delivered a presentation on the advancement of Bahrain on the international level, which included reference to the kingdom's membership in a number of international committees, such as the United Nations Women's Committee and the Executive Council of the United Nations Women's Organization and the opening of the representative office of the United Nations Women's Authority in the kingdom. In the presence of the Under Secretary General of the United Nations and Executive Director of the United Nations Women's Organization, which affirmed the progress of Bahrain in the area of woman's participation in the Progress March of the Kingdom under the leadership of Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King. <coughs> traffic safety is a shared responsibility that can only be achieved by adhering to traffic laws. In this uh, contact, the General Directorate of Traffic has launched an awareness campaign on cycling and motorcycling. More in this report. The aim of launching the General Directorate of Traffic's Awareness Campaign on Cycling and Motorcycling is to achieve traffic safety. In the year 2016, statistics showed that motorcycle accidents were the cause of 7 deaths and 150 injuries, mainly due to risky driving behaviors and non-compliance with traffic rules. The total number of motorcycle licenses in Bahrain is 33,000. The number of licensed vehicles is 17,000 motorcycles only. The accidents recorded during 2016 are seven deaths and 150 serious injuries. In 2015, nine people passed away and 170 were severely injured. Those injuries have caused disabilities and that was all caused by not complying with the traffic laws and not wearing protective helmets. The campaign seeks to increase the awareness of cyclists and motorcyclists of traffic safety requirements. Article 45 of Traffic Law 23 for the year 2014 states that for motorcyclists and their passengers not to wear a helmet is an offense punishable by no less than 20 Bahraini dinars and no more than 100 Bahraini dinars. The article reflects the seriousness of the offenses committed and the injuries the drivers may sustain, especially those who do not commit to wearing helmets or protective clothing. The use of helmets while driving lowers the chances of fatality and paralysis causing injuries by 97%, according to American and European studies. There are different kinds of helmets, licensed and non-licensed. Licensed helmets provide enormous support to the head and neck areas. Most motorcycle accidents happen, unfortunately, to youth under the legal age, and they would not be wearing a helmet or a neck protector. The most important safety factor for motorcyclists is the gear. It is crucial to wear good quality helmet with a visor in case of dust or pebbles to protect the driver's eyes and face. The jacket should have protective parts to protect the body in case of falling. As for the vest, I'm wearing it because it has reflective stripes. Sometimes you see motorcyclists wearing slippers, which is extremely dangerous. They should be wearing good quality safety boots. The safety of motorcycle drivers remains a primary goal, which requires adhering to traffic laws that have been placed for the safety of the people. The governor of the capital, Governor Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, inaugurated the Bahrain Auto Fair 2018 yesterday. More in this report with Shogun Mohammed. Organized by a solid vision and in cooperation with Eleven in Bridge, the biggest automobile festival in the kingdom kicked off yesterday. 
The event is being held for the first time in an area of 20,000 square meters in the heart of Manoma, under the patronage of the governor of the capital governorate, Sheikh Hisham Al Khalifa. We are very happy that most of the dealers are participating uh, and we can see that uh, people can come and visit the auto show, uh, show and maybe buy their car and also enjoy the, uh, some of the classic and uh, sports car, uh, vintage cars that are, that are uh, displayed as well and collector cars uh, which are unique inshallah and which will I think uh, it's a must visit uh, place for people who love cars. Bahrain Auto Fair is the first of its kind. Uh, it's a one-stop shop for all of the serious buyers and the, uh, uh, the, the dealers who are uh, showcasing the uh, latest 2018 models in addition to the exclusive offers that will going to happen for the five uh, days which is from the 17th to the 21st of January 2018. This, uh, this edition of Bahrain Auto Fair is mainly uh, it's a family oriented uh, edition. Uh, it's for the entire family, whoever would like to buy a car and watch the, uh, the uh, stage entertainment activities. It's the, pla the, the indeed place to do so. Simultaneously held with the fourth edition of the Bahrain Shopping Festival, Shop Bahrain, the expo is a unique forum for all car makers and car enthusiasts. The event is expected to attract more than 40,000 visitors from all over the Gulf with people of all age groups. First of all, it helps a lot because it's the first time this happens in Bahrain. This is the first auto fair that people can actually buy cars. In the past, they used to do auto fairs where you just um, come and see the cars and stuff like that. But now, this one, you can get uh, really good deals and we are putting up all our best offers for 2017 and 2016 models. So I advise people to come and visit. Well, I think, I think it's a broad cross-section of what we sell. Um, we basically like to say or like to think that we have a car for everyone. And giving the chance to display the full range of products in a place where you can strike a deal. And we are being very generous, of course, at this time and this place is very attractive to the customer. It's a great opportunity and it's nice to see such a level uh, uh, introduced here in Bahrain for the automotive community. I think it's, it's a great plus, a nice place for uh, all the businesses to, to be uh, promoted and shown in one place. For, and on the other end of the scale, uh, from customers' point of view, it's great because they have a great selection all under one roof. It's a great pleasure for us as the M Club uh, Bahrain to be here. Uh, most of the members are here enjoying the night out. It's the first day here, so uh, I think uh, I, the club has been very uh, effective in organizing a nice area for us, uh, an exclusive area for, for club members. So I'm very thankful to the members who have, uh, have made it out and to all the board members as well who have put in a great effort uh, putting this together. Bahrain Auto Fair 2018 is showcasing diverse recreational activities with a test drive area to try out a wide variety of cars, both classic and exotic, motorbikes and modified cars. A number of special car modification companies are also on hand to provide visitors with a unique opportunity to modify their cars. The first ever Bahrain Auto Fair will go on until the 21st of January here at the Financial Harbour. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogun Mohammed. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohamed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,333.17 points, marking an increase of 1.44 points above last closing. The increase was in the commercial banks and investment sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 80% of total shares. 77 transactions included 2,891,675 shares worth 572,902 Bahraini dinars. Investment in Bahrain's tourism infrastructure has reached $13 billion, according to figures from the Bahrain Economic Development Board. EDB figures show that the number of tourists visiting Bahrain went up 12.8% in the first nine months of 2017. Tourism contributes 6.3% to the country's GDP, a figure which is expected to go up as more tourists visit and the number of leisure activities increases. The tourism investment projects are valued at more than $32 billion.